Slash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Stella. Where's Simba? I just put the cat grass in Boo's door, put it under the gate. None of the cats have any interest in it, which is weird. They usually love their cat grass. And now Splash is peeking around the corner. Splash looks like he might be interested. Look at this. They've moved their arch over toward their platters. And they've been playing with the strawberry. They put a strawberry on their platter. Are they trying to tell me something? Do you guys want more freeze-dried strawberries in your food? 10.20 a.m. I just walked down the hall and found Stella relaxing near Boo's door. The only reason she moved is because I took the camera out and I'm filming it right now. If I was not standing here filming it, she'd still be laying there. That is so huge for Stella to be laying by Boo's door and relaxing there. That's big. And it's all because of the cat grass. If the cat grass was not there, I don't think Stella would be doing that. Hello, Stella. Do you like the cat grass? Do you like Boo? Do you like Boo? Blink if you like Boo, Stella. Blink if you like the cat grass. Do you like the cat grass? It's yummy. Yeah. You like the cat grass so much you don't even mind being by Boo's door, right? You like Boo too, right? Stella, I know you like Boo. I know you secretly like Boo. You're just giving him some warnings that you don't want to have any more kittens, right? You're a little mad at him for abandoning you when you were outside, right? He chose a life in the woods instead of a life in the backyard. Remember that? Stella, remember when you and the kittens moved into the backyard? Boo did not move into the backyard with you, and I know that's why you're mad at him. That's right, Stella. He chose a life in the woods instead of a life with you guys in the backyard. Remember, sometimes he would visit you, Stella. Sometimes he'd come by for meals, and sometimes he'd come by to play with the kittens. Remember that? Also remember that he was always helping you raise the kittens when you had your little kitten nest outside. He was always in there with you, Stella. He really helped you raise those kittens. Remember that. So you need to be nice to him because he helped you a lot with those kittens, and he protected them also. Right, Stella? So just because he didn't move on to the patio at the same time you did, you can't hold a grudge against him. He eventually moved on to the patio. He moved on to the patio six months after you did, Stella. And then he moved inside. See? Boo's trying to be with you. He's trying to be nice to you and the cats. Yeah. So you got to start being nice to him too, Stella. He's manning up. He's manning up and he's accepting his responsibilities as a father cat. And you need to be nice. Cut him a break. Right? You're going to cut him a break? Simma and Splash are in the cat towers by the window. I am super zoomed in, so if it looks super shaky, that's why. It's about 11 a.m. and I just put the undercover mouse toy in Boo's door instead of the wheatgrass. I just want to see what they would do. Will Stella join in and play here? Simba is the first one. 
I'm just about to set up today's live stream and today the cats will be downstairs so Boo will be on free roam. And Stella was down here and Splash was down here. So I got the container of crunchies and I gave Stella a tablespoon of crunchies on the platter. And all I could hear from upstairs is Simba jump off the cat tower and go running full speed through the house, down the steps, and down to the crunchies. It was so funny. It's about 1.30 p.m. I just gave Hydrox some canned food and I also gave him some fresh water. And there's Hydrox hanging out by the driveway. He must have just heard me giving him food. I'm sure once I go inside, he'll come and eat. It is 9.51 p.m. and I forgot to defrost raw food for the cat's dinner. So they're getting canned food. This is the Pride by Instinct Champs chicken formula. Boo's already waiting for it. Boo, you like your canned food? Are you hungry? Would you like to eat, Boo? Boo, say yes. Say yes, I want to eat. Boo's getting half of a can of food and he's getting some water in his food. He was so eager to eat that food. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he just like head butted my hand out of the way. Let's see who's ready to come upstairs. Hey Stella. Hello Stella, hello Simba. Stella and Simba were downstairs doing a live stream today. All three cats are waiting for their dinner. Last time I gave them a can and a half of the wet food and they only ate like a can of it. So today they're just gonna get a can, just one can. Simba and Stella are eating their food, but Splash has been making me pet him. Splash just got a lot of pets. He wants me to pet him some more, right Splash? Hello, Simba. Splash is just about out of my reach. Simba's hanging out by the cat at circuit. And there's a live stream going on of the cat beds right now as we speak. It is 8.39 p.m. and Stella is sleeping in the rectangle cat bed. We have just finished a live stream down here and I want to thank everyone uh, for the super chats today by giving them a shout out. So thank you to EJ Giggy for your $25 donation. That is really nice of you and definitely appreciated. Thank you Cat Lover for your $5 donation. It says little gift for Lucky Ferals. Thank you, Lisa M, for the $20 donation. Thanks for live streaming. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting the channel. Thanks again, Cat Lover, for the other $5 donation. And thank you, Zoa Langford, for the $2 donation and the $20 donation. Uh, she says, hope this will help, and it will definitely help um, all these donations go into a special bank account for the cats um, and it pays for their cat litter and their cat food and any cat supplies that are needed and it also goes into an emergency vet fund in case um, they need to go to the vet for some reason so thank you guys again tonight i am replacing all of the litter in the litter boxes normally i do this once a month i try to do it the first weekend of the month which would have been this past weekend, but because I was away, I didn't have a chance to do it, so I'm doing it now. And I'm using this Dr. Elsie's Health Monitor Everyday Litter. This is the litter that I got on sale at PetSmart. It was like $8 a box, so it was pretty much half price. It says it comes with a free digital luggage cat scale enclosed. 
So I thought that was really cool. Now, um, the box says that it monitors kidney function, diabetes, and hyperthyroidism. The only way that it does that is because it says it is consistent particle size, scoopable litter. So they're saying if you monitor the weight of the litter that you're scooping out, if you see a big increase in it, it could be indicative of some kind of health problem. Now, I didn't buy it for that reason. I bought it just because it was on sale and it was a good deal. And check this out. This is the portable electronic scale that came in the box. It was like getting a prize in a cereal box, but instead it was getting a prize in a box of cat litter. And uh, it's pretty cool. It looks like your standard luggage scale, which is pretty cool. And this is what it looks like. And now that I actually look at it, for me, it would be pretty useless for weighing luggage because it has this little tiny hook on the bottom. I mean, unless the hook was somehow replaced uh, because I don't have any luggage handles uh, or anything that would fit in that hook. But it's cool, you know, it's nice to get a free prize in a box of litter. I just gave the cats downstairs some crunchies. I'm gonna give Boo some crunchies too, but first we're gonna play, right Boo?
It is 12, 10 a.m. And I'm here at Pooh's door and uh, raised the bottom gate. And I've been playing with this cat charmer toy. And Simba and Splash have been here playing with it also on this side of the gate with Boo on the other side of the gate. Let's see, Simba's back. Simba and Boo got in a little swatty fight under the gate and then um, Simba like hissed and he got mad but I think Boo was just playing Boo was like you know trying to grab his paws from under the gate okay someone is holding this right now are they both holding it I can't tell hello Simba what happened? What happened? Boo's holding it. Okay, I'll leave them with this toy for now. Okay, I have the party platter and I have some crunchies in each compartment and I am going to put it under Boo's gate and let's see who eats from it. I think Simba will eat from it. There's Simba, and there's Stella. And there goes Simba. Stella, don't you want crunchies? Eat your crunchies. Stella doesn't want to eat crunchies with Boo. Poor Boo, nobody wants to eat crunchies with him. But Boo says that's okay because that's more crunchies for me. Stella's watching from her house. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.